It gives the bubble one. Yeah. And anyone loading an old saved game will already have that. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I think we're live. Let's see if anyone appears in the chat. Okay, that's the first comment, so it's working. So I'm just gonna continue where I left off. Sup guys? Oh, it's all the same people. Cool. Alright, well, I'm just gonna carry on with Lance's Fortress. We're reading on the bug reports on Discord, and it uh, looks like most of them aren't very serious, which is what I like to see. And <coughs> some of them aren't even bugs at all, it's just people misunderstanding some of the new features. Like, uh, some of the new skills that you can get unlock right away because they've been given to some of the old NPCs. So if you've done all the quests in the game, then you're gonna get some of the new skills right away. do a lot of damage and I think I know why. If I remember correctly, counter-attacking foes just increases Murr's reflective damage. Which makes sense, since that is their counter-attack. It's kind of fun playing these uh, new challenge modes because I don't, I, I kind of made them in a rush so I don't really remember everything that's in them. And to be fair, probably no one can because there's just so much that's changed. Alright, so let's catch these guys. Okay, cool. Someone sneezed. Uh, I think there's a uh, there's someone else around here. Excuse me. Yeah, that's uh that's my mom. Jesus Christ. Nah, just kidding. That's Rania. The update's already available on Steam. It's in beta at the moment, so it's not perfect. And it's only in English right now. So it's up to you if you want to kind of play an early version or if you want to wait for the completely finished one. But if you want to play it, you'll have to go to the game properties on Steam and opt into the beta and it should download it. Everyone says hi to you. Yeah, too bad. She's not in the chat, so she can't read you guys. I think the stream runs better if she's not watching it. Last time she was watching it and it lagged a little bit. Oh, 
Uh, no, Rania is not American. Nice try, though. I'm doing okay. I'm a little bit tired. I ate too much. And, uh, doing the last stream took a little bit out of me. But I don't really want to be fixing any bugs today, so I'd rather be doing this while people kind of build up a list of things for me to do later. It looks like I'll have quite a few bugs to work on over the, ne over the next few days, but nothing too urgent. None of them look particularly serious. When something does go wrong, most of the time they can just restart the game, or sometimes even just restart the battle, and the game should be fine after that. She's not Spanish, or French, or Italian. Uh, she's not British. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's from Finland. Yeah, actually that was a joke. Finland's not a real country. So far, there's not been any bugs while I've been playing. I forgot to feed all of my characters. So, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> well, of course I have to feed them. Okay, let's carry on. so that he doesn't kill me. And then I'm gonna use Putrid Worm. So this should do the trick. Oh, he didn't counter. Nice. Oh yeah, enemies don't counter summons, I think. So that's very good. Because if Slime Bunny countered, I'd be in trouble. counter? I don't know. Maybe in future sometime, but no, it's not a feature for now. And, uh, I don't think the turn timer is that short. It's, you only run out of time if, uh, if you're, like, really in trouble and you need to think of the best thing to do. 
which is exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to make that part a lot harder. Oh, well, yeah, so I should be healing my guys a bit more. Uh, if you look at my uh, stream that I did earlier today, then you can see what happens when a slime bunny counters. Oh yeah, I need to catch uh, Rescue Dog again. It's probably not gonna work. Oh, okay. Just barely. Paper bosses, they're uh, <coughs> they're not too hard. I, I played through them on the hardest difficulty, so they're beatable. Let's see. Oh, I can't go in there. Okay, let's do this. Slimes like to counter a lot, too. Yeah, it's not even the enemy's turn yet, and they've already taken off half of my HP. stopped adding mini games because not everyone liked them and they're kind of out of place anyway like uh, you don't exactly want to be playing action mini games in a turn-based RPG most of the time are too strong. Someone lost their oh, someone lost their saves? Yeah. What, on Discord? Yeah. No, what happened? I have lost all of my main game saves. Oops. Well, <laughs> that did... saves left and all of the ones are gone. I don't think that happened for no reason. <laughs> oh well. There's thunderstorm. Yeah, I was wondering where that was coming from.
I need to level up my uh, healing skills. Because this level of healing is not good enough. my skills. Uh, let's see. Maybe I should give heal more to someone else. And I'll upgrade that. And, uh, mm. Okay, I should be better equipped to fight these fire slimes. Uh, Alright, let's go. Maybe Sushi Cat's not the best healing skill right now since all enemies will just counter attack. Yeah, that's uh oh boy. Yeah, everyone's dead. Okay, I'm gonna start this battle again. for between turn effects well it's exactly that it's random every effect is a different chance of happening Should have attacked the other one. Oh well.
Oops. Oh yeah, this is new. You normally don't fight Chibi Knight so early. Let's see. Oh yeah, I should also try to take this seriously because it gets quite hard. Oh, I can't protect. People are worried about you because you're coughing. Yeah, she doesn't have long to live. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Rania suffers from coughing. I think she has coffee, so she's probably gonna die soon. Oh yeah, radiation makes this a lot harder as well, because all of my uh, defenses just disappear. Oh, yeah, maybe Sushi Cat's not a good idea. Yeah, that was a counter attack. No wait, no it wasn't, that was her, uh, that was her normal attack. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, we're getting a lot of reviews because of the, the Steam sale event where everyone has to leave a review. And they've all been good so far, but I think that's how it is. I don't think people would nominate a game if they were going to leave a bad review. Oh yeah. Are you translating the reviews? I kind of stopped reading the foreign language ones because I just got bored of reading like badly translated reviews. 
Especially if they're really long. Okay, yeah, go for it. <clears throat> I accidentally found this game on Steam. After playing for 20 hours, I realized that I had encountered a baby. <laughs> This is the first game, game in the series that I have come into contact with. From the experience and deep intentions of the producers, the game with a size of hundreds of megabytes makes people feel incapable of experiencing RPG masterpiece. Nice. It goes on, but... Yeah, you can only read so much of that before, uh... You're just reading Google Translate gibberish. Yeah, we're using Google Translate to read a lot of the foreign language reviews. And uh, sometimes it works really well and we can understand exactly what they're trying to say, and then other times it's a bit, uh, it's a bit weird. Some funny stuff comes out of it sometimes. something new in this treasure chest here, so I'm gonna get prepared. Okay, let's learn this. What's this? What are these enemies doing here? I didn't know these were here. What a shock. Oh, they already killed one of my guys. Yeah, they're pretty strong. Hmm. Oh, but they don't have very much HP, so I'm good. Sister Na locked the CP 
and then the official said it was the official match. Oh yeah. Okay. And then five exclamation marks. <laughs> nice. Uh, I changed the way enemy deaths were animated because the old way was just copied from Final Fantasy and I got bored of doing it. But this new way is also copied from other Nintendo games like uh, Kirby and The Wind Waker, so it's not that original either. Oh, that wasn't enough. Oh no, he's gonna die now. And he's gone. That was a lot of damage. Oh boy, that's a lot of enemies. Well, I need to kill a few as fast as I can. Attacking the same guy. Uh, I've already said my opinion on Kappa on my Twitter account, and that's that. Uh, YouTube has been... Uh, this is all YouTube's fault, basically, because they haven't been following the law, and they're trying to shift the blame to creators on YouTube, which doesn't make any sense, because they didn't do anything wrong. YouTube's in trouble because they've been collecting data on kids, and it's not the creators that are doing that. That's, a uh, YouTube's business model. So them trying to say this is somehow uh, the creator's, creator's responsibility seems a bit dishonest to me and also legally dubious since we're not the ones breaking the law, it's YouTube doing it. So uh, I'm interested to see how that story develops but everyone should know that YouTube is entirely to blame for this mess. YouTube will ban me for saying that. No, they won't. They'll, they'll ban me for no reason at all at some point, just like they do to everyone. They don't need a reason to ban you. And I didn't manage to capture a single monster. <laughs> I, I don't need to scan all of the monsters because I'm eventually going to catch them all anyway. 
but I also don't remember all the weaknesses, so that's probably why I'm not playing very well. Oh, I don't think those fines that uh, YouTube creators have been threatened with are actually going to lead to anything. I think that was just a bluff. If anyone's going to get fined, it's going to be YouTube. Yeah, a lot of enemies use the buff reversing skill to uh, to counter attack your uh, your buffs. So they're smart enough to figure out who has the most buffs, and they're going to use it on that player in particular. Luckily, not too many enemies in the game can actually use that attack. Running out of time. I don't really care what YouTube does because I'm not a professional YouTuber. If it deletes my channel, that's not really my. It's not really a big problem for me, and uh, I don't think they would anyway, because I'm not monetized or anything. So I don't think anyone has any grounds to complain about my channel. Plus, I don't use anyone else's content or anything. I'm not. I'm not streaming other people's games. Only my own. So, I think it would be really hard to find any issues with my channel. Oh uh, boy, I don't know what to do with no legs. That was probably a bad move. Yep. Goodbye.
Okay, that battle went okay. I didn't prepare very well, but it wasn't too hard. The boss might be a little bit harder though. Let's see. Oh, I can rearrange my party members. Thanks game for uh, letting me know how to play. Uh, let's see. Okay, these guys are going down really fast. Oh, they all surrendered at the same time? That's pretty useful. Yeah, the random crab is new. It's uh, something that Anna's bow does because it's a kind of summoner bow. Some of uh, Anna's equips on this mode have... Uh, they're kind of made for a summoner build where they summon lots of different monsters and don't really have very good stats otherwise. So that's one of the things you get if you select uh, the equip remix at the start of the game. Every equip in the game has a different set of stats. Oh, yeah, that was a bad move. What are these fish weak against? Dark? I don't have any dark. Yeah, the, the bow is pretty good at this point in the game. These summons are helping out a lot. So if that turns out to maybe be a bit overpowered, I might have to make it a bit weaker. Let's see if I still remember how to do these puzzles. Yeah, this one's no problem. So you can uh, really see the problem with counterattacks here. The enemies get quite a lot of them. So a lot of the time it doesn't even make sense to uh, attack with all of your characters because uh, you'll just be punished really bad. Oh no, uh, the chances of a summon appearing depend on how strong it is most of the time. So the really strong ones happen very rarely. Okay, it's boss time. Let's see, what should I use? I guess I'm gonna switch to Thunder Sword. But I don't have any Thunder Skills, so that seems like not a good idea. At least this one gives me resistance to water. Oh well.
a lot of damage. Okay, it looks like uh, only Anna can survive that one. Oh, now her HP's down, thanks to radiation. Yeah, radiation is not a good status. Uh, rather, not a good weather to have for these battles. Because I don't have very much uh, elemental resistance anyway. And having radiation lower my stats is not helping. Almost ran out of time again. Yeah, that, that timer really uh really pressures you to hurry up. Oh yeah, my evade has been uh, reduced to almost nothing. Ah, I don't know what to do. Oh wait, that's uh, yeah, that's gonna heal him. Hmm, I'm gonna have to change Anna's equip. Because that is not going to make this fight easy. Yeah, I'm gonna spend all of my uh, turn time trying to change equips. Need to hurry up. Come on, no legs. You're supposed to be agile, but you can't hit anything. Everyone's accuracy is too low. Uh, hmm. I don't even know who to use as my main attacker here. with the radiation. I'm in trouble now. So, making Anna my main attacker was a bad idea because she's also my main healer. But no one else really has any electric attacks. And I don't have any summon points left, so I'm really running out of options here. Waiting for skills to cool down. Don't mess this up, no legs. Yeah, that was okay. What's happening? Oh, 
yeah. Still alive. I'm gonna run out of coffee soon. And then I definitely won't be coming back. Uh, it's not looking good. Wouldn't be happening if Natalie was on my team. I don't have anything I can do. espresso. I don't care. I don't want to get a game over. Attack. Don't die, no legs. Okay, everyone survived, so let's finish him off. Yeah, that did not go very well. But at least we won. Oh, did I forget to scan something? Oh well, I'll scan it later. siphoned.
Oh, come on. Is my accuracy that bad? Oh, that's no legs. Been disabled for now. He can't do much. Oh, she's stunned. Okay. I was hoping that would do a bit more damage. Oh well. Oh, they reflect poison. They reflect the damage from poison. And no legs had to die. has to suffer a bit too much in this game.
putrid worms. But, uh, I already caught one earlier, so... No problem. But yeah, if you didn't use the trick I showed you earlier to catch a putrid worm, then this would be the first time in the game you would actually see one. Uh, yeah, I am using one cheat. I'm using enemies have less HP. But it doesn't really feel like it's helping that much. It's still taking me a while to kill everything. So I've got less foe HP to make the game a bit faster. And to make it harder, I've got counter-attacking foes, which is really making it a lot harder. And no grinding, and turn, turn time limit. So, the counter-attacks kind of make it feel like I'm playing on epic difficulty, even though I'm not. They just really mess up my plans constantly. Oh, finally, bomb resistance. Let's see. Uh, it's not likely that these games will, will ever be on console, just because they're not built with that in mind, and I don't think there's any easy way to get Flash running on a console. And they don't have uh, controller support either, so it would be a lot of extra work, and I don't think it's worth it, because, you know, you can just play it on a PC, and if that's not good enough, then... Well, too bad, I guess. I might try to put this onto Android later, though, since that seems like it should be easier because I wouldn't have to change the interface very much. Like, a mouse is basically the same as your finger, so that could work quite well. 
but I don't know if it'll be easy to optimize it enough to get it running well. But I would like to give that a try. Buzz consoles are almost certainly not going to happen. Uh, yeah, Frenna did the whole soundtrack, and my favorite track is actually near the end, so you're not gonna hear it anytime soon. It's Petals of the Blade, which is used for some of the last few fights. Yeah, it would be quite nice if I managed to get this running well on a phone. Like, it already runs on my phone, but not very well, it's quite... The performance is quite unstable. It runs well for a few seconds and then lags for a few seconds. It just keeps doing that. So I need to figure out what's happening there and to see if I can get that running a bit better. But if I overcome that part, which might not be that complicated, it just might be that my code is doing something really stupid somewhere that's slowing it down. But if I manage to get the performance good, then, you know, that should be not too hard to port the whole game. For the most part, uh, the graphics work fine, uh, they run well, I think it's just my code running in the background is doing something weird to slow it down. So once I figure that out, all I have to do is make some small changes to the user interface and also uh, fix some of the graphics because uh, the graphics filters that I'm using here don't all work on uh, on mobile, so a lot of a lot of things on the map and in the cutscenes will be the wrong color because I've used like a filter to change their color and then that doesn't work on my phone anymore. So I'll have to go through a lot of the graphics and uh, change the way they're they're colored because I can't use filters anymore. So that might take a while, but it seems it sounds like it should all be doable without a crazy amount of work. So I'll definitely give it a try. Because it would be really nice if I could get this game running on a phone without rebuilding it from scratch. Or without having to pay someone else to do it for me. So there's a chance, and if, uh, if Android works, then iOS will be just as easy. Or even easier. Uh, no, I, I don't actually have to convert the vector arts into bitmaps. I've tried it and the vector art runs very well on a phone. It's all hardware accelerated. So it, it actually runs better on a phone than it does on a computer. Because for some reason Adobe never did the same optimizations on computers. So if I do a little like test animation that's all vector art, it will run better on my phone than it will on my PC, which is ridiculous. But it's true. Uh, I'm not really worried about Flash stopping in browsers because I'm not really making browser games anymore and I haven't been for a long time. Like, it's, it's a shame that, you know, some people might not be able to play them in browsers anymore, but that's not really what I'm getting paid to do anymore. I'm making all of my money from Steam. But I will consider making uh, free demos for my games on Steam once they stop working in browsers.
but they probably won't be as substantial as the free version you get in a browser. It'll probably be like maybe the first half of the game or something like that. It'll be like a, a different type of demo. It won't be like the whole story with all the optional stuff cut out. It'll be like all the optional stuff included, but not the whole story, only like the first half. But that's just an idea. I haven't really given it too much thought yet. I'll wait till Flash stops working, and then I'll, I'll think about doing that. I'm probably not going to add any more major updates to this game afterwards. There's a few ideas I have left, like I'm going to try to port it to mobile. I might add more languages, but besides that, I, I don't think I'll add any major features. I'm not really looking into any other game engines at the moment. Uh, I, I might at some point in the future, especially if I want to do a pixel art game instead of vector art. So I might try something new for that, if it makes it easier. But uh, we'll see. It, it depends on what my next project is going to be. If it's going to be something completely new, then I might try a new engine. If it's going to be related to my old games, then I might be better off just sticking with Flash, because it works well enough for these types of games. But I also need to repackage all of my old Flash games and uh, put them on Steam. So I'm probably going to make a collection of all my old stuff with a few changes so that I don't get hit with copyright strikes or whatever. So I'm going to put all of my old games on Steam so that they can be played there forever, even if they can't be played in browsers anymore. So that might be my next project, and hopefully that will not take a huge amount of time, but we'll see. I will update them a little bit, but not much. Oh, come on. These defenders are, uh, they're actually pretty hard. Oh, oh no, Anna is stunned. Well, I'm just gonna finish him off. Well, of course I got stuck on some of the bosses when I first made them, because a lot of them were impossible the first time I programmed them, and I had to make them easier. Okay, it's time to fight the Mammoth. So, for this guy, I need a skill that gives tired, or else he'll keep reviving himself. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. I didn't add any new weapons in this update, because... There's no point. There's already tons of weapons. And most people won't even have a chance to use a small fraction of them in the whole playthrough. So that's why I added flares instead, because you use much more of those and you change them much more often. So I preferred to just add some equips that were more useful and also were less work because they're much easier to draw.
Yeah, EBF3 was definitely the most popular EBF game because it was completely free online during the peak of the Flash game uh, era. So, you can't really do much better than that unless I put some of them on mobile for free. Then maybe they would be more popular than that one. And uh, we'll see how that goes when I try to put this on mobile. This will be uh, some sort of uh, free-to-play model. Like, uh, you'll get most of the game for free, but I haven't decided how to monetize the rest yet. I guess I'll worry about that once I actually get the game running. Yeah, it, it would be all of my old Flash games in, like, one bundle together. It would be, like, one game on Steam, and from there you can, you'll can you have, like, uh, a launcher that lets you pick wh whichever Flash game you want to play. So, uh, Adventure Story, Brawl Royale, and all the other ones would be in there. And I'd have to make some changes to them, because a lot of them have copyrighted characters or music, which I would have to change. And some of them have game-breaking bugs that I would like to fix, just to make the games more playable. But I'm not going to put a lot of time into fixing them, like maybe only a day or two per game, hopefully. Uh, I'm not, I'm not really interested in making art tutorials because I don't feel like my art is really that advanced to require it. Like, I feel like the few tutorials that I did kind of showed off the whole process. Like, uh, that video on YouTube I did of me drawing stuff basically showed off what I'm doing. And I don't really know what else I would add to that. Like, uh, designing monsters from scratch, I guess, is a longer process, but I think uh, maybe writing about that would be easier than showing you, like, kind of writing about my, uh, like, how I get to the design and what kind of my intentions are when I'm coming up with new monsters. Alright, how should we finish this guy off? Thanks for the drink, Rania. Uh, can I catch this guy? Maybe. Yeah, if I make an Android version of the game, and if that works fine, uh, doing an iOS version should be quite easy after that. But I would be doing Android first because I have an Android phone and I also like Android more as a platform. They're kind of more friendly for developers in a lot of ways. But iOS would probably be more profitable, so I would have to do that sooner or later. Uh, the mobile version, it, it would be some kind of free-to-play model. Like, you would be able to play most of the game for free because I think that's what you have to do on mobile. Most people won't buy it up front. But how exactly I would monetize it, I don't know. I'd probably just make it much worse to play unless you pay for the full version. I'll just put in lots of ads or something and you'll just have to pay to make them go away. I don't know exactly what it will be, but 
And that's the kind of thing you have to do on mobile. But as long as you pay, then you'll have a really good experience. And it's probably going to be cheaper than the Steam version because people won't pay as much there. But uh, it's probably going to have a few things cut out just to make the file size smaller. Like, I might cut out a bit of the gallery because all of those paintings add a lot to the file size and uh, on mobile it's probably going to uh, bog things down a bit. Especially for people with older phones. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to think more about that later. But I'll worry about that once I actually get the game running and make sure that it's viable to make a mobile version. And then I'll start doing my market research to see how best to monetize it. But I'm sure at least some of the game will be free. Probably most of it. Even if that means you have to watch a lot of ads or something like that. Uh, I'm not going to get Frena to do any new music for my old games because uh, I want whatever music I use for those to also be old. Like, I'm going to probably try to use a lot of her older tracks that I haven't used before. So it's kind of stuff she made around the same time. And if there's not enough of that, I'll just reuse some of the tracks from my older games. Oh wow, that's a lot of comments. Slow down, chat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Flash isn't really... It's not amazing for drawing. Like, it's good if you want to draw fast, but if you want to draw, like, really detailed and accurate stuff, then maybe something like Illustrator would be better. Illustrator. Is it Illustrator? I think it is Illustrator. Yeah, Illustrator takes a lot of time, but it's like, uh, you get really high quality results with it and they're really clean. Illustrator Yeah, Illustrator's like kind of, it's, yeah, it's for logo design. It's really clean and sharp, but Flash is a bit, you can do a bit more kind of natural, like brush strokes and stuff in Flash, but they don't always look that good because when Flash kind of optimizes them into vectors it kind of makes a mess of them a lot of the times so it's uh it's not really the ideal drawing program and there, there's not much you can do to make it better besides like changing some of the settings for brushes or whatever and sticking to something that you think works okay and it, it's not always going to work a lot of the time you'll just have to redo the same parts over and over until you get a shape that you like or you'll have to go in and edit it manually and and just uh, yeah, manually, like, just modify every curve until you get a really good shape. In an ideal world, Flash would kind of guess what you're trying to do better and just do that automatically for you, but that's not the way it is, so it can get pretty tedious sometimes. Anyway, we finally rescued Natalie, so we're gonna fight the boss. But uh, first I'm going to have to read through the chat and catch up to all of your questions. Let's see. Uh, yeah, microtransactions for EBF5. I don't want to do them, but it's kind of what you have to do on mobile because no one's going to pay for the game up front. And it's, it's probably not going to be microtransactions. It'll probably just be like one or two big transactions, like one purchase to make the ads go away and then one purchase to get all the bonus dungeons, something like that, you know? And uh, I'm, I'm not going to do anything that just asks you to keep putting more and more money in, because that's, that's horrible. It, it'll be like one or two big purchases, and that's all you have to do, and that should get you everything. Uh, when I update the old games and I put them on Steam, uh, I will remove all the copyrighted stuff, and you won't be able to see that in the Steam version. But the way I'm going to program it is you can probably take the new versions of the game out of the installation folder and put the old versions in, and you should be able to launch those from Steam just fine. So if you go find the old version on your own and you put it in the Steam installation folder, then you should be able to play it just fine. 
Was I talking too quietly? No, I'm asking. Okay. No, no, I don't think anyone said that. Yeah, uh, uh, oh well. I mean... Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, I'm still reading. Alright, everyone's arguing. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm caught up then. Alright, back to the game. So I've got the hammer, I can backtrack a little bit and get some of those treasure chests that were blocked. But uh, I can't leave the castle until I beat Lance, but that should be easy enough now that I'm Natalie back. I was suffering a lot because I didn't have her to buff my characters. Uh, do I have enough stuff for this guy? No, I need more ninja stars. Psh. Yeah, I didn't find everything. Oh well. Okay, so for Lance, I think uh, using all my water stuff is a good idea. I'll switch Natalie to Thunder. Okay, that looks good to me. thought about porting Bullet Heaven 2 to other platforms because that game wasn't as successful as EBF 5 so it doesn't seem to be as worthwhile but uh, yeah it prob like in theory it could run on a phone it's just not really designed for that aspect ratio it was kind of designed for widescreen so if you're playing on a phone a, a lot of the kind of screen area would be wasted I mean, it would work okay. Maybe on a tablet, it would be better. Like, I mean, I know you can turn your phone sideways, but... I mean, it's got the bits at the side that are used for the user interface, so... You wouldn't have the full screen to move your finger around on, which is what we, what you would want if you were playing a shoot 'em up like that on your phone. Anyway, boss time. I'm gonna save first. Oh wait, I just realized. I need to teach Natalie Siphon for this fight so that she can stop the nukes. There we go. Oh yeah, in case anyone doesn't know by now, all of my games have always been in Flash, and they still are. So they're all programmed, animated, everything is done in Flash. So the programming language for that is ActionScript 3, which is very similar to Java.
I used to use the pen tool, but uh, now I only use the pen tool if I plan to uh, turn my drawings into brush strokes. So if I'm drawing like a really kind of rigid object, like a box or something, I'll draw it with the pen tool and then I'll convert it to brush strokes and then just go from there. But uh, yeah, maybe I should do more tutorials if people are interested in. But the art tutorial videos I did on YouTube, they weren't the most popular. Most people just wanted to see the game that I was working on. So that's what I continued to do. But yeah, if you're just if you're just trying to make a video game, then learning Flash at this point is probably not the best idea. But if you're using Flash for animation, then it's still perfectly good for that. Or even if you just want to make a simple prototype game, then Flash is still quite good for just getting something out there really fast. So if you're just learning, it might still kind of be useful for that. But for a more serious project, maybe you should learn something else in this age. Because a lot of the advantages that Flash used to have are gone now that it doesn't run in browsers anymore. And also it's just not updated as much as it used to be. Where was I? Will Earth work on these guys? I think it will. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll try to make Lance surrender. I just need to remember. I forgot about that. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, it killed everyone, but they're okay. They're okay. They died, but they're okay. I think most Flash games have already been salvaged, or at least all the good ones. And it's not like they're just going to disappear from the internet, because like, all the websites still have those files. So, someone's, someone's going to collect them all. And there's already projects doing that and trying to make like a kind of uh, an easy way to sort all of them and just access them on your computer. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Oh yeah, Natalie's a lot stronger in this update. Her uh, her spells do a lot more damage. Because everyone said uh, she was too weak. And we kind of crunched n the numbers and we realized that her spells are actually a bit weaker than they should be. Okay, I don't need to revive no legs. I think his job here is done. Ooh, I have almost no coffee left. Uh, I better make sure everyone survives. <laughs> oh no, I... Uh, I need to end this really soon. Okay, that's the big guy down. But now I need to... Oh no. Oh no, Matt's dead. And I have no way of reviving him because I'm out of coffee. 
So I need to uh, I need to win this battle with just two players left. Oh, and I can't buff them either because the the dead guys had all the buffs. So I've got no buffs and no revives. Hmm. Oh, and he's healing as well. Oh no. I forgot that uh, that staff's really powerful in this mode, but it's uh, it's got a side effect which makes Natalie confused. So she's she won't be able to do her limit break if she's confused. Yeah, it's hard to keep on top of all these new uh, new effects because this. This isn't the game I remember playing before. This is totally different. Yeah. Natalie's dead, so, uh... I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I know what I should have done. Oh, I can't run away. I'm just gonna lose this fight and start again. Because... I should have bought more coffee from the shop. That's what I should have done. Oh, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with Cast Cafe. Google deleted it because I didn't update it for a long time. So I could bring it back, but I don't know if there's much points. Like, I guess I need to have, uh, I need to have it up somewhere so people can download it if they want it, but I don't really want to maintain a game like that because it's so simple. And if I don't keep it updated, Google will just delete it again. Which is probably going to be a problem for all of my games if I put them on mobile. I'll have to keep them up to date, so that's going to be boring. How much coffee do I need? Probably quite a lot. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay. So that was uh, very unfortunate that I had to lose when I was so close to winning. I even forgot to use Siphon. Yeah, I'm actually doing a second stream in the same day. I have that much free time. And I might as well do it while I'm kind of in the mood, because otherwise I'm, I don't know if I'll get through the whole game. Lightning laser, if you want to mention your giveaway, then go ahead. I guess this would be a good place to do it. No 
legs. Yeah, more like no life. So far, I think this is going better than last time. She's dead. Oh, she's also dead. Everyone's dead. Uh, I need no legs. And everyone's alive. Good job. Good cat. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing the bonus areas in the game. I'm gonna 100% everything. Whether I end up doing that on stream or not, I don't know. We'll see how many people are interested. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to do it one way or another, and if people keep watching, then I'll keep streaming. Yeah, like Rania says, I'm gonna put all the EBF streamers out of business. So close. <laughs> yeah, the enemies are doing a lot of damage because uh, they're counter attacking as well. Because I have that turned on. So I'm not playing on epic mode, I'm only playing on hard mode. But the enemies are also counter-attacking whenever I hit them, which gives them a lot of extra damage.
I think I might just use a chili to speed this up. Or, eh. Oh no. Yeah, I need to use a chili. Or else uh, Lance is gonna die and I won't get the medal. So, uh, seems like a bit of a waste, but, you know, it's the only way I was going to win this and get the achievement. And I can still finish him off. Finally. That wasn't so bad. I just should have had coffee right away, and then it would have been okay. Now let's see, um, I need to do a little bit of backtracking in here. I need to get those chests. Staff. Uh, I'm not gonna kill that slime. There's no point. I don't need the XP anyway. A key and a sushi and a flare. All right, that's cool. Okay, that's been almost two hours for this stream. I'm probably gonna go for three hours. Just like the last one. And I feel like I haven't really made that much progress yet, anyway. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go for another hour. For now, I'm just gonna backtrack a little bit. Get some of the stuff that I can get now that I have the hammer. Oh, uh, I'll come back later when I have the axe. Oh well, maybe I should have waited. Can I do this? No, I need one more stick. Man. Uh, I'm not gonna fight these guys. Uh, maybe I should fight this one. So, Lance will be useful for this fight. out a lot of his bomb skills. Uh, Natalie's not got much to do. There we go. There we go. That should do it. Uh, I might make some merch later. Uh, I've thought about making some new t-shirts again because I have some kind of fun ideas for shirts that might not take too long to do. And I can also get Rania to do some arts for that as well. Because that might be fun. But at the moment I don't have any merch. I wasn't really happy the first time I did it because I wasn't happy with the quality of the store that I used. But uh, this time I'll do a bit more research, and I've just waste, uh, I've wasted all of my uh, turn time. So uh, I should pay more attention. You realize that's why they're asking you questions, right? Because they want you to fail. Yeah, I know that they're uh, they're talking so much because they want to distract me, and then I die. Okay. I mean, that's what I do. Yeah, maybe I should just start this one again. <laughs> uh, actually, no, I don't need to. I think I'm gonna win. Oh, oh, that, yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, Lance. You need to do the massive damage. Okay, let's do it. Nice. But now I can't capture him. Oh well, who cares? Oh. I forgot about that. That was a lot of damage. That seemed like too much damage. Hmm. Uh, I never did a button that applies all steroids at once because it seems unnecessary. Like, don't you just want to do a bit of extra clicking every once in a while? It's not really a big chore. Like, why even have the button? Why not just make them take effect automatically when you find them, you know? If we're, if we're gonna get lazy, we should go all the way. Uh, where was I going? Oh yeah, I was gonna backtrack to smash some boulders. Wrong way. Oh wait, no, I can uh I can go find something cool now actually. Let's see. Oh I got diamonds, nice. these torches, but that doesn't matter. Oh, a treasure chest full of dirt. Nice. Okay, let's uh let's take this guy on. Oh come on. No legs is mad. He's really mad. No, he's mad because the enemy got away. Yeah. Uh, can I catch these guys? Let's go for it. I don't need to make tutorials for making games, they already have those, they're called textbooks. Or you could just go study them at college or something. There's no need for me to write a whole textbook on how to make a video game. When you can just go to the library and borrow one. Oh, you're in 8th grade. Well, uh, in that case, yeah, just borrow some books on programming. That's probably the way, best way to get started. They all, uh, 
They all really introduce you right from the beginning, like, so you, you don't need to know anything in advance. Just get, like, uh... Actually, I don't know what 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 video game software is free right now, because, uh... Yeah, there, there's probably plenty of YouTube tutorials that'll tell you, like, where to get started and what software you can get for free. Because Flash isn't free unless you want to pirate it, which I encourage you to do if you want to play around with it. But yeah, I guess it depends what software you can find for free or for cheap, and then just, you know, just search Google for easy tutorials on how to get started. But if you're serious about it, I would recommend going to the library or something or doing a game development course. Yeah, big course. Did you go to uni for it? Yeah, and by course I mean yeah, going to university and spending four years learning how to program properly. So it's not easy. Okay. Ooh, got a cool hat. Nice. <laughs> Alright. I'll just be the interview moderator to moderate the questions. Oh yeah, I guess Unity is free if you're using the basic ver version, which I think does everything you need. But I don't know if Unity is particularly easy to learn. Maybe it is, I don't know. I've never tried it. Oh, dead players get XP in this mode because I'm I'm playing on a mode that makes it that the enemies are always at the same level as me. Which means all of my characters always have the same amount of XP. They all level up together. Which I think works pretty well because it means I can do battles in any order I want and I can skip stuff if I want to. Oh yeah, uh, university is uh, free in Scotland, I should point that out. Like, uh, it might not be the best thing to do if you live in the US where it's super expensive. But if you live in a country with reasonably priced university, then I definitely recommend it. But maybe not if you live in the US and you have to go into huge amounts of debt. Maybe in that case it's not worth it and maybe you should try teaching it to yourself at home or just going to uh, study in a cheaper country in Europe somewhere. If you're moving countries, does it necessarily make it cheaper to study in a university? No, it, 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 it will be cheaper. Even if you have to live in, in a different country to study, it will be probably cheaper than studying in the US. That's why you have to elect Bernie Sanders. Yeah, that's right. I'm endorsing him right now on stream.
Time goes really fast when I'm streaming. Like, I don't really have time to sit around. I'm just trying to play and chat at the same time. It just keep, keeps my brain busy and the time just flies. What's this? There's a hole in the wall? Yes. How can this be? Oh no, you're gonna show them. What did I find? What is this? What is this thing doing here? Mm -hmm. I didn't put this here. I don't know what this is. He's big. And, well, she, oh, 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 the weather killed her. That's unfair. Well, let's switch someone else. Let's use no legs. Others healing him. This is tough. But uh, what can I do? Uh, I'll use some cola. What? How does a golem dodge? that happen? Uh, maybe not her. Oh, a new type of bush. Oh, maybe I should capture it. found something in the wall. Interesting. There's something over here. Hmm. So, uh, this fight that's coming up, it's, uh, it's a little bit tricky. 
I don't even know if I have all the skills I need to win. So I'm going to need... Uh, do I have anything with Dispel? Oh, Anna has Dispel. Oh, I didn't even know I had that. Well, that's going to be very useful here. Okay, maybe I have a chance. The counterattacks are going to make it tricky, though. Let's give Lance a... Oh, I don't have any other guns? Oh, okay. Oh, well. <clears throat> so, we've got some uh, interesting enemies here. Buff's gone already. That was uh, that was too quick. Okay, I need to use this uh, worm to increase my accuracy. That's what I need to do. my drink so I might have to find something else <laughs> okay birds time to die this time I'm ready kind of Two births because I'm playing on full remix. Oh, 
so there's only two, but they're much stronger than they would be otherwise. Oh, so little healing. Oh, that was pretty weak. So it's time to finish these guys off. Uh, let's see. Okay, this better work. Okay, didn't work on one of them. This better work. No! No, they're all dead! I need to capture this guy. dead and I need Anna to be alive. No, it's not even close. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to these guys later. I need, uh, I'm gonna need those equips that help with catching. Otherwise, uh, I might not be able to do it. Oh well, let's continue on to the next town. something new. This guy. custom mode. This is as far as you need to get on the, you don't have to beat the whole thing.
Hmm. More enemies with high evade. Phoenix is uh, too hard. Oops, wrong one. Uh, scaling foes will make all of the new party members exactly the same level as you. Even rewards will just uh, make sure everyone gets experience after battle, but I think they can still be different levels. I mean, they must be able to be different levels because you can turn that option off and on. 
so it, it doesn't work quite the same. Oh, come on. Okay, still a few more bushes. Oh, I should have changed the fire sword. There we go. Finally. Stupid bushes have too much evasion. Okay, that's quest finally done. Okay. A new gun, nice. That should be quite useful here. Should I buy anything? Yeah, let's 
buy this cheap stuff. Uh, I don't think I need the other stuff. Okay, let's uh... Oh yeah, I need to read all the books for an achievement. Well, let's get that out of the way. And uh, I don't need to read these, but you guys should because there's a lot of useful things in here. Okay, got the medal, and that's all I'm going to do in here today. I'll come back to that dungeon some other time. Because the stream's ending in 20 minutes, and that's not enough time to do the dungeon. So I'm just going to finish off some other stuff around the village. Actually, I should go get the axe. And just, uh, just collect all the easy stuff. Uh, yeah, the randomized equips mode, uh, if you turn that mode on, it'll also randomize the stuff you can buy in the shops. But I'm not playing with that on right now, so everything's exactly where it's supposed to be. the stream soon in like 20 minutes
Uh, yeah, the beta of this version is available on Steam for everyone now. You just have to go into the game properties and uh, enable the beta and it should download. And I'm not actually going to fight these guys now, because I'm too tired, and I don't want to think too hard. So I'll maybe get to those guys next time. Okay, that's a good sword. Actually, I don't know if it's uh, good or not on this mode. Let's see. It still boosts holy skills. It, it gives purging flame this time. That's uh, sometimes useful, sometimes not so useful. All right, let's do a bit more backtracking. Let's cut down some bushes. And there's a new side quest here, so that, uh, there's a certain skill that you can get a lot earlier. And I'm just gonna go to the shop and buy the stuff that I need. There's no point of waiting. Might as well do it right away. Oh yeah, the shop's up here. <laughs> that should do it. Oh yeah, I need to rob the shopkeepers, of course. <laughs> and so I've gotten feeble a bit early. That used to be much later in the game, but people told me it would be useful earlier on, so now you get it here, and you get something else later. Okay, I'll need to try to catch these guys. Hmm, I don't know if this sword is really what I should be using right now.
Uh, the timer at the top is how much time I have to take my turns, and that's another challenge option that you can turn on. And I like to keep it on because it makes streams a bit more interesting. It means uh, I can't stop to chat for too long, I have to pay attention to the game. And I like to play fast anyway, so this kind of gives me a good reason to hurry. Oh uh, yeah, there's a lot of new medals. There's uh, 31 new ones, I think. And uh, most of them are quite reasonable, but some of them are very hard. There's one or two that will uh, that will really challenge you. I'm not using buffs because I'm kind of just rushing through all these battles. I use them for bosses, but most of the time I just try to kill the enemies before they kill me. I don't really want to take my time. Plus, all of my uh, players don't have to be alive at the end of the battle anyway, since they all get experience. So that's very helpful. I'd be in a lot of trouble otherwise. Oops. Uh, oh, okay, there's more. Good. Well, I might, uh, they're gonna die anyway. Oh well, I'll catch them some other time.
and I think I'm probably gonna sign off now. Uh, next time I play, I'm gonna fight the Bush boss, also known as Bosch, and uh, he's harder than he looks. So I'm gonna leave that for next time when I'm a bit more awake, because it's uh, it's midnight over here, so it's getting a bit late. And uh, all of you guys, you can play this version of the game. It's up on Steam right now. All you have to do is opt into the beta. And uh, to do that, you go into the game properties, you go into the betas tab, and you select version 2.0. It's uh, it's not 100% finished, but it is quite stable, so you shouldn't find too many bugs. But you should back up your saved game before you try it out, just in case anything happens. But uh, for the most part, your old saved game should be completely compatible with the new version, and it should be probably safe to use that. And uh, there's only English at the moment, the other languages will come a bit later. But otherwise, yeah, you should just be able to jump right into it. So uh, I might stream tomorrow if I feel like it, maybe later, I don't know, we'll see. But I also will have to just fix some of the bugs at some point, so we'll see what I decide to do. So until next time, see you later, and enjoy the rest of your day or night or whatever time it is over there. See ya.